Hello and welcome to Barry's Basics, where our guides are straight to the point and strictly only the basics. In this guide, I will be going over the basics of the Fishing Trawler minigame. The Fishing Trawler minigame takes place on an old fishing ship that players will have to keep afloat amidst Kraken attacks, leaks, and damaged nets. As far as requirements go, you will need at least level 15 in the fishing skill. As far as required items go, you will need a hammer, an axe, swamp paste, some rope, and bailing buckets. Depending on whether you plan on playing this minigame alone, or using a fishing trawler world and playing this minigame with other players, you may require a different amount of each of the previously mentioned items. Ropes and swamp paste can be purchased from the Port Kazar General Store. A hammer, axe, and belling buckets can be obtained from the ship during the minigame. To reach the fishing trawler, you will need to travel to Port Kazar. The easiest methods of traveling to Port Kazar are as follows. The first method is by use of the fishing trawler minigame teleport found in the minigame menu. The second method is by use of the Ardun Diary Cloak to teleport to the Ardun Monastery and then running southeast. The third method is by use of the Charter Ship Transport System to travel to Port Gazard. The final method is by use of Fairy Rings using code DJP and running south. If none of these options are available to you, you can simply walk from a nearby location like Ardun or Yanil. Once you have reached Port Gazard, you can begin the encounter by boarding the fishing trawler on the northern docks by clicking on the gangplank. Once aboard, the boat's owner, Murphy, will occasionally shout out the time until the ship leaves and the minigame begins. Once the ship is out to sea, the minigame will begin. If any tools are needed, climb to the deck of the ship and take them from the crates on the eastern side of the ship. After you've collected any needed supplies, you will need to travel back to the bottom of the ship. During this minigame, there are several different mechanics you will need to be aware of. Most commonly, the ship will spring leaks that will need to be repaired with the use of swamp paste by left-clicking them. This will consume one swamp paste. Until these leaks are repaired, the water level on the boat will gradually increase. Occasionally, the nets will rip. This may occur randomly during the minigame and will also occur when the Kraken attacks the ship. To repair the nets, climb up to the deck of the ship and left-click them. This will consume one rope. Occasionally, a large Kraken tentacle will appear and begin to cause damage to the ship. You will need to climb up to the deck of the ship and chop the tentacles with an axe until they return to the depths. These Kraken tentacles will also damage the railing of the ship which can be repaired with a hammer by left-clicking it. If the railing is repaired after a Kraken attack, it will increase the time until the next Kraken attack. The final mechanic to mention is the water level. With the frequent leaks on the ship, the water level will inevitably rise. If the water level fills up, the ship will sink and you will fail the minigame. Once you begin to see water on the lower level of the ship, you can left-click a belling bucket in your inventory to collect some of this water and then left-click the bucket again to throw the water back into the sea. If you stay on top of the leaks, you may not need to bell water out of the ship. As a tip, if you are playing this minigame alone, it may be beneficial to bring multiple bailing buckets to bail faster. The water level and several other indicators will appear on the upper left corner of your screen at the start of the game as shown here. This interface will also display the time left on the fishing trip and your contribution level. The contribution level will increase as you perform activities during the fishing trip. This interface also has a toggle that can be left-clicked to turn the camera motion effect on or off. If you manage to keep the ship afloat until the timer runs out, the ship will return to port and you can collect your rewards by clicking on the trawler net just west of the ship. These rewards include various fish depending on your fishing level, junk items, and occasionally pieces of the angler outfit which increases fishing experience gained when worn. If your contribution meter is full when the minigame ends, you will receive 50% more fish from the trawler net. This concludes the basics of the Fishing Trawler minigame. If you require more advanced information on this topic, you can find a link to the official Old School RuneScape wiki article on this subject in the description of this video. If this guide helps you, please take the time to give this video a like. If you'd enjoy more videos similar to this one, you can subscribe to this channel for easy access to all current and future content provided. To be notified of future content from this channel, you can also left click on the notification bell located next to the subscribe icon. Feel free to leave a comment to make a request for a guide similar to this one, and thank you for watching.